It's Cullen here. In this episode of Factorio Quick Tips, I'm going to detail rail signal usage and other tricks and tips. So, there's two types of signals. There's a chain signal, which will repeat the signal after it, and a normal block signal. Now, these chain signals, you can chain off other chain signals, but these block signals will end the signal. So you'll see as this train goes through, it'll go blue because they can still pass if they they need to go this top line. So I'll just remove this one. What it will do, it'll stop a train from entering a junction if there's no exit. And we can clearly see this at the bottom section where this train has entered the junction, but he couldn't pass through the other side of it. So now he's got to wait for this train to clear the block before this square junction will be free. And this one will block it as well. So if we just change these two to chain signals, they won't allow trains into the junction and they won't block it for other traffic. Now, this one here, this signal here is poorly placed, so he actually hangs into the junction, and that's another thing to consider. So once these trains clear, I'll just force this on. Once they clear, I'll remove this signal and now these trains will be blocked from entering the signal because there's no exit. Which is a fantastic use. And you can chain as many signals as you need. Just remember that after a block signal, this space should be a safe to park space. If it's not safe to park, after the block signal. If it's not safe to park, do not put a block signal you're better off having nothing. So these ones here, after the block signal it's safe to pass. Now these could be chain signals if you like but as there's only one exit it doesn't matter. And there you go, that is rail signals. If you need any more help please ask in the comments. Thank you for watching, have a great day.